Tottenham may need to sack Antonio Conte imminently. The problems at Tottenham continue to mount. After Saturday's 3-3 draw at Southampton, which saw them squander a two-goal lead in the final 15 minutes at St. Mary's, Antonio Conte gave a string of brutal interviews in which he tore shreds out of his own players. The Spurs boss branded them, selfish, and accused his team of lacking spirit and fight in their performances, labeling the problem symptomatic of wider issues with the club. He added, it is the same every season, no matter who the manager is. They're used to it here. They don't want to play for something important. They don't want to play under pressure. They don't want to play under stress. Tottenham's story is this. 20 years there is the owner and they never won something. It seemed apparent pre-match that Conte will leave once the season finishes but the Italian may now be gone even sooner. Performances and results on the pitch had already made it increasingly clear that a split is necessary. But Conte's comments sour the mood, one which was already grim, even further. Daniel Levy may need to sack him before his contract is up, even if he has to pay out as a consequence. Conte has now surely lost the dressing room after his comments. He'd already started to lose the fanbase with recent performances and results namely their FA Cup and Champions League exits. And what must Levy and Joe Lewis think of the manager's latest outburst? It doesn't take much to assume they won't be happy behind the scenes. To clinch a top-four finish Spurs need confidence and consistency. They need harmony between the fans, the manager and the players. He may have a world-class 105 but there are huge question marks over Conte and whether he can galvanize the same group he has just ruthlessly lambasted to journalists. Indeed, with his actions, it appears Conte himself doesn't want to be in this job. Step up Mauricio Pochettino, who would at the very least quickly improve the mood inside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That would be very beneficial ahead of the last 10 games of the campaign which include testing clashes against Brighton, Newcastle, Manchester United, Liverpool and Brentford. The much-loved Pochettino's return would undoubtedly be a fill-up for the Spurs fans at a time where both the team and the fanbase need a lift. Qualifying for next year's Champions League otherwise looks unlikely, even though Spurs are at present fourth in the table.